A story we are following this Friday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Dozens of folks in North Phoenix now looking for a new place to call home after the apartments they lived in went up in flames. The blaze massive and took out about 40 units. We're told the fire happening near along Cave Creek Road. We first told you about this is breaking news last night here on 12 News at 10. And those flames left behind plenty of damage and many people trying to get their lives back together at this hour. That's where we find Team 12's Jade Cunningham live this afternoon from that complex where the folks impacted have been able to try to go back and salvage whatever they can. Jade. Yeah, you know, last night's fire destroyed the building. The good news, though, is, as you mentioned, people were allowed to go back inside to gather what they could. For many, though, it's not much. For many of the families and the people who lived at this apartment, they're left with basically nothing and basically what was on their back. Uh, they, the Phoenix police tells us that this all started around 7 o'clock last night. They are still looking at how this fire started. They had canines out here earlier today to kind of help with their investigation, um, but they aren't saying uh, how or what or why this fire started. The people who lived here tell me the fire began in the building next door and then spread to the apartment complex. Today, crews have come and gone putting out fire hotspots, making sure nothing rigged nights. There have also been electrical crews on hand trying to restore power. Mainly though today was about the families, many who aren't sure what's next. We were able to speak with one of the residents. She told us that everything was lost. She came home from work. I am, she says she's still wearing the clothes that she was wearing the night before. She has no help and that again everything is lost. The good news is is that everybody was able to walk away from this fire remarkably. I mean this video base or the fire basically erupted last night from these buildings. We are going to be uh, following this story. We're going to have more coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, so stay with 12 News for the latest. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News.